And now we are at part two, the IT assessment. So the IT assessment is their second part and uh, the last assessment you're going to be needing to complete to gain access and officially be enrolled and admitted into the program. And I'm gonna show you how to access that. Uh, first, you should have gotten different than the knowledge assessment, but similar that you're looking in my Ivy under quick links, and mine again might look different than yours, you should be able to access your Office 365 email. And within that email, uh, in your Microsoft Outlook for your My Ivy Tech account, remember, will be a email that invites you to participate in this Canvas course. After clicking that student email, um, and you'll see a, something that says course invitation, it'll say something like, you're invited to participate in the knowledge assessment for IT cohort, blah, 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 virtual inspection. Um, uh, virtual instruction, excuse me, a as a student, and then you'll be able to go into Canvas and you'll see what I'm seeing right here. I'm, I'm talking you through that piece just because I'm not going to open up my email exactly and show you that part, uh, but it should take you directly to this, which is the knowledge assessment for IT. So what you need to do here is complete both parts of this assessment, K-A-I-T, part one, informatics fundamentals, the INFM is what we call it, and complete the KAIT part two, computing logic assessment, STEV. If you were to take both of these, again, the INFM and STEV, because when you look into this Canvas course, it's pretty big. So don't, don't be too overwhelmed right away. But you're gonna need to take each of these, and if you pass them with a 70% or more, both sections, then you're good to go, and you don't need to do anything else on this page. However, if you want to refresh some of the material and um, and you kind of just want to prepare yourself a little bit better uh, before you actually take these, you can start working through some of the information on these. Now, the quizzes themselves below them are what you're going to have to complete if you do not pass a 70% on the on either of the assessments. Again, you need a 70% on both. Um, for example, but if, for example, let's say you take the KAIT part one and you get a 80%, you're good to go. You take the SDEV assessment next and you end up getting a 42%. Well, then you'll need to visit the SDEV module one, which would be down here, right here. And you'll actually have to do these computing logic preparedness uh, modules. So within each module right here, there's an overview, and then there's learning activities, supplemental material, and then a quiz. It's kind of recommended that if you're unfamiliar with the topic, you should complete the material before the, taking these quizzes. So uh, it, again, if you don't pass the SDV assessment on the first time, and you're going through this study path, if you will, on algorithms, and you just kind of want to go through this material, you can do that prior to taking the quiz. But again, you, you can simply take the quizzes in each module. Each quiz, you can take as many times as you'd like, but you have to get a 70% or higher on the quiz to move on to the next module. That's why mine looks grayed out right here. So if you score below a 40% on a particular quiz, you will be assigned homework that should be uh, reviewed, um, which is uh, right here, kind of optional tutoring. But it, it's not optional if you get less than a 40% on these quizzes. Uh, so you gotta, you gotta work in order within each part. However, each part does work independently. So if you need to complete both the INFM part and the STEV parts, you could work on STEV module one right here while also working on the INFM module two. As long as you complete this one with a 70% or higher. But that's kind of a bit of a mouthful. We tried to make this as straightforward as possible because, again, this is not meant to be a barrier to getting into our program. This is to see if you are comfortable enough with IT. Uh, our program is not designed for, for IT, IT professionals only by any means, but this will give you a better idea of what the content's actually going to look like. Once you go into an assessment, I'm just going to show you. I'm not going to go through the entire assessments, of course, but the informatics fundamentals, the INFM assessment, um, this it's 50 points. There's 25 questions. Each question's worth two points. And again, if you are able to take this and get a 70% or higher, you're good to go. And you don't have to do anything else. Likewise with the um, 
the second assessment, the SDEV right here. So again, this is this is kind of a brief overview of how these IT assessments in conclusion, this these two right here are what you need to take and you get a thumbs up and you're good to go. And this is the last step before being admitted and enrolled in the program. If you don't pass one of these, then you need to, you need to do the corresponding study path down here. So if you fail INFM, you have to work through these. All you have to do is take the quizzes. But again, if you get less than a 40% of the quiz, you have even more, but you still need a 70 down here, okay? So again, this is this is to give you an idea of what the content's gonna look like. And we, you could take these as many times as you want, these quizzes, okay? But if you don't pass these assessments on the first try with a 70% or more, you do need to complete all the quizzes for that area. I feel like I'm being a little redundant on this point, but this can be uh, uh, not exactly super straightforward your first time going through, especially if you're not used to using Canvas courses in the past. Again, uh, I can't stress it enough. Uh, good luck, but please reach out if you have questions. Uh, I'm here. Our staff is available. We'll do our best to try and help you through this part, and uh, we really look forward to having you in the CWCT program. Have a great day.